Hello and welcome back to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Brian and behind me I have the 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and it is an electric lime metallic as you can tell. And I have a little confession to make. When this color first came out, Toyota was very proud of it. I was a little bit turned off by it. I can tell you after a week with it, it's really grown on me. I think it works better here than it does in the 4Runner. I don't quite understand why it does work here. We had the same color in the 4Runner uh, late last year and I just couldn't fall in love with it, but it's done pretty well here. So. Up front, you have the nice big snout. This is part of the TRD Pro package. It's kind of got a Raptor-esque uh, letters in the front saying Toyota. Below you have your radar sensor right there and your front trail cam. There's actually a 360 cam that while it's low resolution, it does work really well. You've got cameras right here on the mirrors as well. And they tell you exactly where your front tires are while you're driving. That's really helpful off-road. We've used that a lot over the years at different events. It's very helpful. One of my favorite things aesthetically are the headlights. This is the pro trim. And so it has pro in the light there. And as you can tell, they may not come out on camera, but this is a sequential um, halo coming around the light right here. Looks really good. You have Rigid Industries fog lights down here. Let's see if I can get those back on. There we go. So fog lights are back on. They do time out after the engine has been turned off. That's how that goes. Um, but these are factory. These are really good. They work well. I've used them at night. They do make a difference. And then pro lights up in the bottom of the headlight too. I think it's pretty cool. They've got the look figured out. On the hood, you've also got the uh, fake hood scoop, doesn't actually work. And the hood graphic, which has a map on it. It's pretty cool. It lets the color cut through here. Kind of, again, kind of Raptor-esque. Um, I like it though, it works. With the TRD Pro, you do get the BBS wheels, which man, I'm such a fan of those. I love the red caps, center caps. And of course, it matches the upper control arm and coilover suspension in the front that are red because red just means it works. Down low, you have the skip plate. We've seen this before on the 4Runner. And again, when we get into the shop, we'll give you better footage of that. Now, one of the things I don't like about the Tacoma TRD Pro, it's probably one of the only things I really don't like about it, is you have to get the sunroof. And again, that's really a me problem. I'm tall in the torso and it just, I would be a little more comfortable without it. But I will say after a few days, I've found the right slouch that I can drive this and not bash my head. So it does work. Happy to have that. Um, coming around the outside, you have the same BBS in the back. And of course you've got red bellows and their shocks, which is good for at least, I don't know, 20 horsepower off-road credit. Uh, definitely love the embossing on the bed. This actually is really cool. The entire bed is composite, the whole thing's plastic. So no rusting back here, won't be a problem. In the back, this thing does have accessories. It has the D-rings, it has the bed mat that you can take out, and it has the, uh, the bed lights. When you open the cab doors, these light up. And so at night, it's actually really helpful. You do have a bed plug. That's a 400 watt, so it won't make coffee, which won't help it on the hipster score, but it will power like a laptop or a compressor. You do have some bed storage for like toe straps in the back. That's pretty cool. So this one comes in at just over 50,000. It has all the accessories, mostly in the bed back here. This has a power rear sliding window. Um, and the boss tailgate, you embossed tailgate, you've got the black letters, and of course TRD Pro right here. You also have the back of the camera, which I'll just admit, the resolution is not very good. But it is there and you can tell what's going on you can back up and see where you're going you can hook up trailers with it that kind of stuff this does come with the trd exhaust which our understanding is it's a borla muffler has the black chrome exhaust tip and you know what it does drone a little bit but not as bad as the foreigner that we had last year and part of it's because there's not a whole cabin coming to the back that's basically the exact same exhaust system but it definitely works a little better on the highway it's not quite as droney uh, tires. These are the Goodyear Wrangler Territory ATs, and that means all-terrain. They do work well in the dirt. They are not a mud train by any means, but you know what? You do have a rear locker up back. That's important, and you do have four low. There's your exhaust right there, and it gets the job done. No complaints there. I will say, if you were serious about off-roading and mud was going to be a bigger deal, you might consider swapping those after some time, but let's hop inside and tell you about that. Coming to the interior, we have good storage. I like the door pocket here. Fits your wallet, fits your keys, that kind of stuff. You have two bottle holders down here. One's a little smaller than the other, it's okay. Bottom left is your cockpit here. You've got your traction control off. This is your view for 360, 360 cam. Um, your auto high beams have a physical switch. One of my favorite things about this truck is that everything is a hard key. You're not having to go through the navigation to do anything. You can do most of it with just hard buttons. I will start it up. Okay, got the key over here. Let's start it up. 
All right, so here's your interior. You do have dual zone climate control. You have heated seats as well. We've got it turned off so the, the vent's not making much noise. Here's your offer controls. Pretty straightforward. If you want to use the rear locker, which is right here, you must be in four low first. That's a little bit frustrating because you have to go through a bunch of steps. You can't just hit it on the fly like some other brands. Multi-train select, your crawl control with your speed knob right here. Pretty cool. That's a fun overhead cockpit. And of course your sunroof, it works. One of my favorite things about the console is that it is analog. You do have a touch screen, so it doesn't feel ancient, but you can get to a lot of things without diving through a menu. Lower console, phone charger down here, it works pretty good. Um, rear window is power. I like that a lot. Every truck should do that. Really cool to have that. And you have three primary cup holders. One, two, three, plus lower door pockets. And then out back, you have two more. The rear seat is, you know, about right for a midsize truck. It's not huge, but it definitely gets the job done. It's on par with your Colorado Canyon Ranger, that kind of stuff. And of course, we also have this iPad holder that just rattles a bunch when you don't have an iPad in it, but it's nice to have the option. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And uh, let us know if you have any questions before we film this thing. We'll film it in a couple days for the full episode. That'll be coming out about a week after that. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.